Hey everyone, ever since the design of the first aircraft, engineers have been looking at ways to improve underlying technology to make them far more effective. Speed is, of course, one of the most important attributes of all, and the desire to make the fastest has led to some ingenious designs. So join me for today's video. I'm gonna count down the top 15 fastest planes ever made. Number 15, MiG-23 Flogger. The MiG-23 Flogger is a supersonic fighter aircraft developed by the Soviet Union in the 1960s. It was designed to be a multi-role fighter capable of intercepting enemy aircraft, engaging in air-to-air -air combat, and performing ground attack missions. The MiG-23 was the first Soviet aircraft to feature variable swept wings, allowing it to fly both at supersonic and subsonic speeds, and it was equipped with a powerful Tomansky R-29 turbojet engine, which gave it a top speed of about Mach 2.35 and a service ceiling of about 60,000 feet, or 18,000 meters. The Flogger was heavily armed, with a combination of air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-ground weapons. It had a 23mm cannon, as well as various types of rockets and bombs, as well as four air-to-air -air missiles and four medium-range air-to-air missiles. It did prove to be a capable fighter in various conflicts around the world, including the Iran-Iraq War and the Soviet-Afghan War, so much so that it was exported to many countries, including Syria, Egypt, and India. The MiG-23 was, however, not without its flaws. Its engines were prone to flameouts, and its avionics were not as advanced as those of its Western counterparts. It also had a high accident rate, with over 400 aircraft lost during its service life. Despite all these issues, the Flogger does remain an important aircraft in the history of the Soviet aviation programs. Its variable sweep wings and powerful engine paved the way for future Soviet fighters, and today a number of retired MiG-23s can be found in museums and private collections around the world. Number 14. The Su-27 Flanker the Su-27 Flanker is a Soviet-era air superiority fighter aircraft developed by Sukhoi Design Bureau in the 1970s. It was designed to be a highly maneuverable and agile fighter, capable of outperforming its Western counterparts such as the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. The Su-27 is a large and powerful aircraft with a length of almost 69 feet, or about 21 meters, and a wingspan of almost 46 feet, or about 14 meters. Powered by two Saturn turbofan engines, which give it a top speed of about Mach 2.35 and a service ceiling of 59,000 feet. The Flanker is a powerful aircraft with a combination of air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-ground weapons. It's equipped with a 30mm cannon as well as various types of rockets and bombs and carries up to eight medium-range air-to-air missiles as well as up to six short-range air-to-air missiles. It's seen action in various conflicts around the world, including the Gulf and the Russo-Ukrainian War, and proved popular as an export variant too, with countries like China, India, and Vietnam still operating them. The Flanker is known for its exceptional maneuverability, with the ability to perform extreme maneuvers such as the Cobra and Pugachev's Cobra. Its advanced avionics and sophisticated weapon systems makes it a formidable opponent in air-to-air -air combat. Number 13, F-4 Phantom II. The F-4 Phantom II is a supersonic fighter bomber aircraft that was developed by McDonnell Douglas, a now defunct American aerospace company. First introduced in the 1960s, the F-4 Phantom II was one of the most versatile and successful aircraft of its time, serving in a variety of roles including air superiority, ground attack, reconnaissance, and even as a drone controller. This one was designed to be an all-weather multi-role aircraft that could carry a variety of weapons and perform a range of missions. It's equipped with powerful twin engines that give it the ability to reach supersonic speeds of up to Mach 2.23, and it was designed to be highly maneuverable despite its large size. One of the key features is its advanced avionics and radar systems, which allow it to operate in all weather conditions and at night. The aircraft also has an impressive range and could carry a large payload of bombs and missiles, making it a highly effective weapon in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. The F-4 Phantom II saw extensive use in a number of conflicts, including the Vietnam War, where it was used primarily in ground attack and close air support roles, and it was also used by several other countries, including Israel, Japan, and Germany, among others, some of whom still use them to this day. Number 12. F-111 Aardvark as the Cold War continued to develop, militaries around the world invested heavily in new technologies, and in the United States this saw the introduction of several new aircraft based on pioneering ideas, like the General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark. It was created to be either an attack aircraft or a strategic bomber. This was one of the first to use variable sweep wings, after burning turbofan engines and an automated terrain following radar that allowed high speed at low altitudes. And as with all new bombers at the time, it was capable of carrying nuclear weapons. 
It was mainly used in the U.S., but also in Australia. The aardvark measures 73 feet or 22 meters long and has a wingspan of 63 feet or about 19 meters. Operated by a two-person crew, the bomber is powered by two Pratt & Whitney afterburning turbofan engines that allow it to reach a top speed of 1,650 miles or about 2,650 kilometers per hour, which is about two and a half times the speed of sound. Each is optionally fitted with an M61A1 Vulcan Gatling gun and has nine hard points along with two attach points in the weapons bay to hold a total of over 31,000 pounds of missiles and bombs. With a 3,700-mile or 5,900-kilometer combat range, the F-111 remained a deadly threat for the more than three decades it remained in service for. Number 11. The F-15E Strike Eagle The F-15E Strike Eagle is a dual-role fighter aircraft developed by McDonnell Douglas, which is now part of Boeing, for the United States Air Force in the 1980s. It's a variant of the F-15 Eagle, which was originally designed for air superiority missions, but the F-15E was adapted for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, making it one of the most versatile and effective fighter aircraft in the world. It's equipped with a variety of advanced technologies, including a sophisticated radar system, advanced avionics, and state-of-the-art weapons systems, and two Pratt & Whitney F-100 afterburning turbofans give it a top speed of about Mach 2.5. It's capable of carrying a wide range of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons, including missiles, bombs, and precision-guided munitions, and its advanced targeting system also makes it highly effective in low visibility and adverse weather conditions. One of the crucial design features of this one is the ability to operate at low altitudes, which makes it highly effective for ground attack missions that, along with 20mm cannons, makes it ideal for air support and strafing missions. It has therefore seen service in a number of conflicts, including the Gulf War, where it played a key role in destroying the enemy air defenses and conducting ground attack missions. It's also been used in Afghanistan and Iraq, where it's demonstrated its effectiveness in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. Number 10. YE-166 the YE-166 was a prototype Soviet jet fighter aircraft developed during the 1950s. It was designed to be a high-altitude interceptor capable of reaching speeds of up to Mach 2.85, making it one of the fastest aircraft of its time. The YE-166 was developed by the Mikoyan Gurevich Design Bureau, which was responsible for several successful Soviet aircraft, including the MiG-15 and MiG-21. The YE-166 was based on the design of the earlier YE-152 interceptor, which was developed in response to the United States' high-altitude reconnaissance flights over the Soviet Union, and has very little differences, with the YE-166 designation given to the fastest of the jets that had been built in order for it to attempt to set the record for the fastest aircraft, a title it successfully held for a time. The YE-166 was powered by two afterburning turbojet engines, which gave it the ability to reach almost three times the speed of sound. It was also equipped with a radar system and advanced avionics, which made it highly effective in intercepting enemy aircraft. Despite its impressive capabilities, the YE-166 never entered production, and only one prototype was ever built. This was due in part to the high cost of the aircraft, as well as concerns over its ability to withstand the stresses of high-altitude flight. But the things the designers learned from its creation would influence Soviet fighters for decades to come. Number 9. Chengdu J-10 Firebird the Chengdu J-10 Firebird is a multi-role fighter aircraft developed by the Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group, a Chinese aerospace company. It was designed to be a highly maneuverable and advanced fighter aircraft, capable of operating in a variety of roles including air-to-air -air combat, ground attack, and reconnaissance. The J-10 was first introduced in the early 2000s, and it was designed to be a modern replacement for older Chinese fighter aircraft such as the J-7 and the J-8. It's powered by a single turbofan engine and features a delta wing design that gives it exceptional agility and maneuverability in flight, and the ability to reach speeds in excess of Mach 1.8. The Firebird's also equipped with advanced avionics and weapon systems, including a radar system, electronic warfare capabilities, and a variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons, and it's able to carry a wide range of munitions, including missiles, bombs, and rockets. The thing that arguably sets the J-10 above the rest is its advanced fly-by-wire flight control system, which allows for precise control of the aircraft even in extreme conditions. This, combined with its advanced sensors and weapon systems, makes it a highly effective fighter aircraft. Since its introduction, the J-10 has seen extensive use in the Chinese military, including in a number of military exercises and demonstrations, and more recently has also been exported to several other countries, including Pakistan and Myanmar. Number 8. MiG-31 Foxhound 
The Mikoyan MiG-31 Foxhound is a supersonic interceptor aircraft developed by the Soviet Union in the late 1970s to replace earlier aircraft, and it was introduced into service in the early 1980s. It is a highly capable aircraft able to reach speeds of up to Mach 2.83 and fly at an altitude of 65,000 feet, or about 19,800 meters. It's powered by two turbofan engines and features advanced avionics and weapon systems, of course, including a powerful radar system that can track up to 10 targets at once. The MiG-31's ability to engage multiple targets at once changed the face of aerial warfare and made it, for a time, an unbeatable and highly effective interceptor aircraft. It's armed with a range of air-to-air -air missiles, including the long-range R-33 missile, which can engage targets at distances up to 120 miles or about 193 kilometers. The MiG-31 has seen extensive use in the Russian Air Force, and it's also been exported to various other countries, including Kazakhstan, Syria, and Iran. It's been used in a variety of roles, including air defense, reconnaissance, and even as a missile carrier. Despite its age, the MiG-31 remains a highly capable aircraft and has undergone a number of upgrades over the years to keep it competitive with more modern aircraft. Number 7. North American XB-70 Valkyrie The Valkyrie was an experimental supersonic bomber designed and built by North American Aviation in the 1960s. The aircraft was intended to be a high-speed, high-altitude bomber capable of carrying nuclear weapons across the Soviet Union in the event of a war. The XB-70 was designed with a delta wing configuration and powered by six General Electric J-93 engines, which allowed it to reach speeds of up to Mach 3.1 at altitudes of up to 70,000 feet or 21,300 meters. It was also equipped with advanced avionics and weapon systems, including a powerful radar system and a variety of air-to-air -air missiles. Despite its impressive speed, though, and altitude capabilities, the XB-70 was really never put into production. The program was cancelled in 1969 due to budget cuts and concerns about the changing nature of the Cold War, and in the end, only two of the aircraft were ever built, one of which was destroyed in a mid-air collision during a test flight in 1966. Despite its short lifespan, the XB-70 represented a major milestone in aviation technology and influenced the design of many subsequent aircraft. Its high-speed capabilities and advanced avionics paved the way for the development of other supersonic aircraft over the following decades. Today, the sole remaining XB-70 aircraft can be found at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, where it serves as a reminder of the innovation and ambition of the aerospace industry in the 1960s, and the potential that the XB-70 represented for the future of air travel and military aviation. Number 6. Bell X-2 Starbuster Developed by Bell Aircraft Corporation in the 1950s as part of a program to investigate high-speed flight at extreme altitudes, the Bell X-2 Starbuster was a concept spy aircraft. It was designed to fly at speeds of up to Mach 3.2 and reach altitudes of up to 126,000 feet. To do this, it was powered by a single rocket engine and was launched from a B-50 Super Fortress bomber at an altitude of about 30,000 feet. Once released, the X-2 would ignite its rocket engine and climb rapidly to its maximum altitude and speed. Equipped with a variety of advanced instrumentation and equipment, including a sophisticated flight control system, high-altitude pressure suits for the pilots, and a set of air data probes to measure air pressure and temperature, the plan was for it to be an eye in the sky before a time when satellites were as prevalent as they are now. This aircraft made its first flight in 1955, and it went on to set a number of speed and altitude records over the course of its testing program. In 1956, pilot Ivan Kinchilo became the first person to fly at more than 100,000 feet when he took the X-2 to an altitude of 126,000 feet, and later that same year, pilot Pete Everest flew it to a speed of Mach 2.87, setting a new speed record that stood for several years. Despite its successes, the X-2 program was ultimately cancelled in 1956 due to some budget cuts and a shift in focus towards the development of other designs. However, the X-2 paved the way for many advances in high-speed flight and helped lay the groundwork for the development of modern supersonic aircraft. Today, the only remaining X-2 aircraft is on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, where you can get a sense of how nerve-wracking it would have been to fly one of these at full speed, and how brave test pilots, especially those in the 1950s and 60s, were. Number 5. MiG-25 Foxbat the MiG-25 Foxbat was a Soviet high-altitude, high-speed interceptor aircraft developed in the 1960s as a counter to the threat of advanced American aircraft, such as the B-7 Valkyrie bomber. Powered by two Tomansky afterburning turbojet engines, it was able to reach speeds of up to Mach 2.8 at an altitude of up to 80,000 feet, making it virtually undetectable until it was too late. 
The aircraft was heavily armed with a range of air-to-air -air missiles and a 23mm cannon, and was ahead of its time with its advanced radar system that could detect targets at long ranges and guide the aircraft's missiles to them. The radar system was so powerful that it could even detect and track low-flying cruise missiles. The MiG-25's appearance in the West caused great concern, and there were many rumors about the aircraft's capabilities. In 1976, a Soviet pilot defected to Japan with a MiG-25P, which provided Western intelligence agencies with the opportunity to examine the aircraft in detail. It was discovered that the MiG-25 was not as advanced as Western intelligence had believed, as the aircraft's engines were found to be less efficient than anticipated, and its onboard technology wasn't as capable as previously thought. Despite these weaknesses, the MiG-25 remained in service with the Soviet Union and other countries for many years. It was also used for reconnaissance, with the MiG-25R variant being equipped with cameras and other sensors for gathering intelligence. Today, the Foxbats retired from active service, but several examples of the aircraft can still be seen in museums around the world. Number 4. The Lockheed YF-12 The YF-12 was well ahead of its time when it was developed in the early 1960s by Lockheed Corporation's Skunk Works Division. It was designed as a supersonic interceptor and reconnaissance plane and was the precursor to the company's later designs that were truly groundbreaking. The YF-12 was incredibly advanced, with a top speed of Mach 3.3 and a service ceiling of over 80,000 feet, making it one of the fastest and highest flying planes ever developed. It was also equipped with a powerful radar system that could detect targets up to 100 miles away and a sophisticated avionics suite that gave it a significant advantage over other aircraft. The YF-12 was designed to be armed with air-to-air -air missiles, but it never saw combat during its brief operational life. Instead, it was primarily used for reconnaissance missions over hostile territory, such as North Vietnam and the Soviet Union. Its capabilities and stealthy design made it nearly impossible to detect or intercept, and it provided valuable intelligence to the United States during the Cold War. Despite its many advantages, the YF-12 was ultimately cancelled due to budgetary concerns and shifting priorities within the military. Only three prototypes were ever built, and the aircraft never entered full production. It did, however, provide the foundation of the design for the record-breaking SR-71 Blackbird, which was even faster than the YF-12. Number 3. NASA X-43 the NASA X-43 was a prototype aircraft that was developed by NASA in the early 2000s as part of the HyperX program. It was a scramjet-powered experimental aircraft that set multiple speed records during its test flights. The X-43 was designed to fly at hypersonic speeds, which are speeds faster than Mach 5, and to do so, it was powered by a scramjet engine, which is a type of jet engine that only works at high speeds. The X-43's engine was able to propel the aircraft to speeds of up to Mach 9.6, which made it one of the fastest aircraft ever built, and easily the fastest to be built in this century. The X-43's design was revolutionary in many ways. Its scramjet engine was able to operate at much higher speeds than traditional jet engines, which rely on compressors to slow down and compress the air before it's ignited. This engine instead used the speed of the aircraft itself to compress and ignite the fuel, making it more efficient and powerful. It also featured a unique design that allowed it to fly at high altitudes and at hypersonic speeds. Its slender shape and lightweight materials allowed it to travel through the atmosphere with minimal drag, while its advanced guidance and control systems ensured that it could maneuver at high speeds. During its test flights, it set multiple speed records and provided valuable data on hypersonic flight, and its success paved the way for future developments and helped to advance NASA's research in aeronautics. Number 2. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird First entering service in 1966 and retired before the end of the 90s, the SR-71 Blackbird holds the record of being the fastest air-breathing manned aircraft to have ever been built. It was the result of a project at Lockheed Martin in the 1960s that was looking to develop an agile, long-distance reconnaissance craft, and its final design allowed it to fly higher and faster than anything else, which meant that even if it was discovered, there was nothing anyone could do about it. Designed with a reduced radar cross-section, it was 107 feet long and had a wingspan of about 55 feet. Unusually for a high-speed jet, it's a two-seater, requiring a pilot and a reconnaissance system officer to operate it and it's powered by two Pratt & Whitney J-58 afterburning turbojets. These, astonishingly, gave the SR-71 a top speed of over 2,200 miles an hour when operating at an altitude of 80,000 feet, and is around 3.3 times the speed of sound. 
Of course, the trickiest part of a design like this was creating a safe environment for the people inside, and it required brand new pressurized suits for the flight crew, and cooling systems to overcome the 500 degree Fahrenheit or 260 degrees Celsius temperature that the plane's surface can reach at full speed. Amazingly, it's so fast that if a surface-to-air missile is detected, the SR-71 simply accelerates to outpace the threat. Number 1. North American X-15 You'd think that developers are constantly trying to create faster aircraft than ever before, but amazingly, the airspeed record was broken in October of 1967, and since then, nothing's got close. That's because the craft that managed it was the McDonnell Douglas X-15 and is the most radical design ever built. Classed as a hypersonic rocket-powered aircraft, the X-15 was 50 feet long and had a wingspan of 22 feet. It was powered by a single reactions motor liquid-fueled rocket engine and had a range of 280 miles, a service ceiling of 67 miles and an astonishing top speed of 4,520 miles an hour. The reason it was able to travel so fast was the combination of its jet engine and the fact that it flew so close to the edge of space, where there's so little air resistance, and each of the eight pilots who took it to its limit were classified as astronauts in the process. Three of the aircraft, which looked more like missiles, were built, and rather than taking off from a runway, they were designed to be dropped from the wing of a B-52 mothership. Of course, there's no actual practicality to an aircraft like this beyond being used to test varying engine setups and conditions, so it's no surprise that their operational lifespans were short-lived. And as a result, it's unlikely there'll ever be the need to build a manned aircraft that'll travel faster than the X-15. Now that automated technologies are more prevalent, however, the limitations of aircraft design with a human pilot are no longer a concern, so it's quite possible that sometime soon, something even faster will be ready to take to the skies. I'll see you next time. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.